how you start then. How do you start it? You go, put foot on brake and press it, start engine. That's a little... Ooh! Ooh! Right, not lots of nice Volkswagen things. I love Volkswagen, you see. I know it's, it's, I'm going to do a completely biased fanboy review. It's hopeless. You're not going to get a realistic impression of this vehicle. Oh, everything's brilliant already. But I'm in reverse. <laughs> How do I get into drive? Right. There's no one coming. Oh. So this is the Golf GTE. This is a plug-in hybrid Golf GT. So like the GTI or the GTD, this is the Golf GTE. And at the moment, I'm I'm just driving along in pure electric mode. And it has a range of roughly, I, I'm, I'm working it out because it's all in kilometers, about 30 miles just on electric. And then there's also an engine that can kick in. But what you've got to be really careful about and we've been very anxious today, all the British journalists in Switzerland, is the speed cameras and the speed fines are very severe, including a criminal record if you go too fast. And I don't know what the speed here is 80 and I'm doing 60. Oh, right, so I've, there we go. So that's, that's how fast I can go. I'm not breaking the law. But it also is obviously it's a, G a GTE, so it's a it's a performance, it's a hot hatchback. So it has a lot of different settings. So at the moment it's in pure electric, and I will now switch it over to. So now the you might not be able to hear that, but the engine is now running. You can hear it there, yeah. And what that's doing now is it's also charging the battery. So, I mean, the reason behind all this, I, I think I've mentioned this before on Fully Charged, but the reason behind all this is that there is, all the car manufacturers know there is legislation in the pipeline that's definitely going to go through in a lot of European cities where you won't be allowed to drive into the city centre in a car that has a, a running internal combustion engine. So they're all developing cars that you can hammer it along the autobahn or the motorway until you get to the city and then you, you go on to electric mode. Okay, so I've had in my life I have owned just about every version of the Volkswagen Golf. I had a Golf GTI, the, uh, the sort of classic Golf GTI, and then I had a Golf VR6, which was really brilliant, which had a, a V6 engine in it. And then I had a Golf uh, V6 4 Motion, which was a four-wheel drive Golf with a V6 engine in it. And then I had a Golf R32, which was a 3.2-litre uh, V6 Golf that went like stink and used humongous amounts of petrol for a very small hatchback car. And that was the car I traded in for a Prius. So that was a big change, going from a very racy hatchback car to a Prius. It was a life-changing and, you know, masculinity-challenging moment, but I coped. And so coming around now, a few years later, and there's suddenly a pure electric Golf, which I've already reviewed on Fully Charged, the electric uh, E-Up, which is, I think, a fantastic little car, and now this, the Golf GTE. And we're driving along by a beautiful lake in Switzerland. I can see it, but you can't. Uh, the Golf GTE is, is, I like it. It's very nice. It's got so many buttons and switches on the steering wheel, it's utterly overwhelming. I have no idea how to see anything yet, but I'll have a look later on. Um, uh, now, what's the speed limit here? 80. And what are we doing? 80. Oh, blimey, it's terrifying. So I was going to stick it into GTE mode, which is where it uses the electric motor and the engine at maximum power, and it does some other clever stuff that makes it sound different. So we've got to find a place where we can actually go into the full... Giving it the full beans, I think, is one of the rather unpleasant terms. I've always found that rather unpleasant, that uh, expression. So that isn't in GTE mode, that is in normal mode. Woo! It does, yeah, that acceleration is like quicker than a Prius, which, let's be honest, isn't hard, but it isn't like phenomenal. And that's why the, the it isn't like really boom, it's like, it, you, if you could hear that, that sound, that sounded like a small engine working really hard. I mean, it's in GTE mode, it sounds like a bigger engine that can do butch stuff. So I'm now going to try the GTE button. Um, we're going up a hill and I'm going well below the speed limit. So I've switched it to GTE, let's see what happens. Ah, it's quite impressive. We're going up a hill and we actually, <laughs> after saying I didn't want to drive fast, suddenly, yeah, so it's a very different, 
a very different car <laughs> like this and I'm really hoping they haven't got special hidden speed cameras that look like trees because if they have we're stuffed that's enough I didn't actually go over the speed limit but we're climbing up quite an amazingly beautiful road and a hill and um, I just thought it was the perfect opportunity to try it because that is quite um, I'm just gonna let it slow down a bit so really is working hard yeah it's good yeah yeah it's a GTE it's nice sweet sweet wheels nice like it so the blue motion golf which I've never driven uh, it, it gets about uh, in realistic driving it's around about 60 65 miles to the gallon which is very very impressive on just a simple petrol engine very refined modern petrol engine and uh, that equates to about four li four liters per hundred kilometers uh, instead of mpg so 60 mpg four liters per hundred kilometers uh, this car at the moment i'm driving it in hybrid mode and this isn't realistic <laughs> because we've been going down quite a long hill but I've been, we've been going up and down a bit. Um, we haven't done very far since I've reset it, but at the moment it is reading 1.7 litres per 100 kilometres, which would be the equivalent of like 150 miles per gallon. Well, I don't think that's really realistic. Uh, not 150, but over 100, well over 100 miles per gallon. And so we haven't had to climb up a hill or go at high speed on uh, a motorway. Uh, we're, in, we're in roads where the maximum speed is 50 kilometres an hour which is not terribly fast, as you will appreciate. And which is sensible, because we're driving through um, lovely little uh, Swiss towns. I had a lovely day driving around Zurich, through big tunnels and up into the mountains. The GTE is powered by a 1.4 litre TSI engine and a 102 horsepower electric motor with a six speed DSG gearbox. It's all automatic, it just does stuff. That gives it, with the full beans, a combined output of around 201 horsepower. VW claim that the car can achieve 1.5 litres per 100 kilometres, which is 188 miles per gallon. I never managed that, but on one long section I did get 1.7 litres per 100 kilometres, which is 166 mpg. Not bad, although I was hypermiling like a vicar. Of course, fuel economy is entirely dependent on how you drive. If you thrash it in GTE mode, forget it. But if you did a regular commute, could charge the car at home, you could easily get well over 100 miles to the gallon on average, which is fantastic for a car that can do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 7.6 seconds. As the clever VW marketing department suggests, this is a new kind of fast.